Hi everyone, welcome back to our AI tutorial series where we're covering all elements of the AI systems inside Unreal Engine 5. In this episode, we're going to continue on with the smart object system that we started on in the past two episodes and fix up our chair so the character actually sits down properly in the chair, rotate the right way and happily sits there. So let's take a look at how that works. Okay, so the last time we were here, we made these chair smart objects. So the characters find them just so fine, but their animation isn't lined up with them actually sitting on a chair. So we're going to walk them around so they actually sit down properly. So let's take a look at, first of all, changing our cube here to be something more chair-like. So we go to Edit, SO Chair, go to the viewport, and we're going to change this to a chair mesh, like so. We'll just bring it down to the floor, reset its material. And on the smart object here, I'm just going to bring this back up because I've moved it down now to about there. About there, be fine. Okay, so now they look more chair like, but as you can see, they don't face the right way when they're sitting down. So we need to make them get in the right position. So, what we're going to do is use motion warping. Now, motion warping is a new tool added in Unreal Engine 5, and you have to enable it first of all in your plugins. So, go to your plugins menu and search for motion warping and you'll see it come up with beta just tick it on and you'll have to restart the engine once you've done so and this gives it access to motion warping now what motion warping is is the act of taking and montage for example and warping the animation to different direction or location over a certain amount of time and that we can dictate it so it's a really nice way to really customize each animation for different occur occurrences such as turning around and sitting into a chair. So let's go ahead and take a look how this works. So the first thing we need to do is go to that animation that we're using for the chair. So easy way of doing that is I'm gonna go to my chair behavior and look at the animation montage we're using. Open this up. There we are. Okay, so for motion warping, you need to find the spot where you want the character to happily like sort of twist and turn around. So it's usually gonna be like at the start, uh, that you want them to do adjust. So I'm going to go from here and the notifiers, we're going to right click, add notifier, state, and do motion warping. And what you do is you drag out the handles for motion warping to determine the start and end of when it should stop and start the motion warp. So we're going to start there and we'll go to about a little bit further. There. Obviously, the longer this is, the better the warp will be because it'll have more time to do it. So go by whatever animation you're trying to do and it'll make it work a little better. Okay, so that's motion warping. And on the right hand side here, you're going to go to a details panel, go to a root motion modifier and expand open. Now you've got different types of modifiers, you've got warps or scale. Obviously, it's just a warp. We're just changing it, we're not changing the size or anything like that. Um, but we're going to change the name of it. So warp target name, it says none. We're going to change that to chair. So the next thing you need to do is make sure the animation being used is root motion because motion warping only works when it's using root motion. So we're going to go to our chair sitting, open the asset. And on the left-hand side, we're going to enable root motion. Turn it on and save that. Okay, we're done here with the animations. We now I need to go to the NPC's blueprint itself. And on the NPC's component list, we're going to add the motion warping component. And that's all you've got to do there. Just leave it like that. Okay, that's that done. Now, you want to go over to your test behavior, the smart object test behavior, where we're telling it to sit down. And then before the play montage happens, we're going to tell it to warp. Now, the way you do that is we're going to take our avatar pin, get component by class and I'm going to search for motion warping and it should only have one motion warping uh, component so it should be fine and on that return value here we can now add or update the warp target so you've got loads of different options here we're going to do transform because it's kind of the easiest one to do and we'll put that in there now here's where you put in that name that we set up on the montage. So just be chair, and then you need the target transform. And for that, we're gonna get the smart object owner, and we're going to get actor transform. The smart object owner just refers to the actual chair itself. Okay, we wanna get the actual thing from it. We plug that into there. So now when we test it out, they should go in and sit down 
a lot more accurately. So they're still a bit too far forward and they're not ending their animation. They're like standing up straight away. So let's first of all fix that one. That's an easy fix. We go to the montage and you're just going to turn off enable auto blend out. And that will stop them from standing up. They'll just stay seated basically. Um, the next issue is with the chair itself. So the reason why they're sticking out a bit is because they've got collision issue with the chair. They will collide with the chair and the capsule would make them sit on the chair and be incorrect. So the, the solution to this depends heavily on the animation you're using. If you've got an animation that goes off the spot with root motion, um, then yeah, that's fine. You can just make them sit down. Uh, but if you've got like what we've got, where it's just sitting down basically on the spot, we need to move it and merge it in with the chair, basically. So what we need to do is go to our uh, test behavior here. And so this is going to move it towards the location of the chair. But if I were to change the, uh, the warp target here to be inside the chair, for example, it won't reach the warp target because it will fail. It won't be able to reach it because the chair's in the way blocking navigation. Um, and if I leave it out like this, as you can see, the capsule's climbing the chair. So what's the solution? So the first thing we're going to do is we need to go to the behavior and we're going to turn off collision on the chair when they go to sit down. So we're going to take the smart object owner, which is again the chair itself, and we're going to do uh, actor collision enable. And we'll just do that. And we'll plug that in like that. Make it false. So if I put that in like so and leave it like that, you'll see the character will now sit down and clip with the chair. Okay, which, okay, not too bad. But the issue we're seeing here, the reason why we're getting this behavior is because the feet are going to where the root of the chair is. So I need to adjust the chair's positioning to account for that. So I'll go into the SO. And let's say you just want to move this to where the root of this actor is where the feet will end up. So I'm just going to move that like there, for example, smart objects, fine, not that, all good. Okay, uh, make sure we're okay here, space wires, yeah, that looks fine. Okay, so now let's see how they sit down. Looking very good, much better. Okay, and so that, that little workaround does mean you have to like, think about what kind of animations you've got and what kind you're using but if you're using root motion typically your feet are going to be at the point where you want the feet to be so uh think about it as a root where you want them to sit or stand or whatever um that's where you're going to place them because that's the transform you're using okay um but there you go so there you go we've got smart objects now working and as i say it depends heavily on what kind of animation you're using so do pay attention to the animation uh play test it and just tweak things until you get it looking correct okay in the next episode of ai series we're going to start looking at more examples of ai and implementing ai behaviors in our engine so you're going to catch that next episode right now on patreon.com forward slash ryan laley where you can find all my videos early before anyone else from just one dollar a month Thank you for watching. Make sure you're subscribed and I'll see you next time. Bye everyone.